What's up YouTube? Enzero here and I have another Silver Dust Blaze box. And uh, this is a really good set, especially for people who love Kagro. This is like, this like pretty much caters to you in a way, if you're a Kagro. Uh, this is a Dimensional Police Dice, because that's uh, the clan logo there. False advertisement. And uh, is this a double-sided protect? card oh it is cool I mean they, they could have saved a lot of time just doing double sided cuz you know another quick shield hopefully we can pull an SP pack out of this I mean SP cards are pretty cool I do like the the full art kind of thing in a way of course, pulling like an SVR would be cool too. Alright, first pack of this box. Start off with a vision token. I think that's a good sign. Metal board black boy. Uh, Dragon Dancer Soja. And we got Divine Sword Amino Murakumo, which is the grade one searcher for Oracle Think Tank, which Pretty cool, I think. Good way to start out. Is it Soldier Conroe? The the cool, the better versions of the Kagro triggers, both together. Die Dumper, which is a pretty funny name. Manipulator Avoid, Gy Die Gyro, and got Clear Frame of Whirling Wash of Curse Cle Cleansing, and we got the Crit Sentinel 30k Shield of Dimensional Police, which is Gra Cosmic Hero Grand Beat, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's really cool looking. I'm not a fan of Cosmic Heroes that much, just because uh, I just don't like the playstyle that much. I mean, in my opinion. Could be very wrong, but, you know. Alright. Go Fire. The, cool, the cooler looking draw trigger. And heal trigger. Ditto Deleter Bayon. And we got Ignite Road Dragon. Which is pretty cool. Uh, it's meant for the Dragonic deck. Um, more specifically, the X. Dragonic Overlord, the X. Which I believe was a grade 4 at, or a G unit. Alright. Still no SP pack, but eh, I'm not going to cry over it. Die Scooper. And. Uh, the name I can't say, which GG. So this has been a pretty strong start to this pack. We got the Grade One Searcher, got the valuable uh, Dragonic Overlord support card, Digyro, Bayon, Grand Volver. Grand Rescue. And we got another Metal Borg Urbuster, which is pretty cool. It's like a robot ninja. Which robot ninjas are always cool. Muto. Uh, we got Cosmic Hero Grand Volver. And we got Lady Fencer of the Matter Transmission. Which is the, the Messiah card, which is pretty cool, I think. I think it helps stand cards, I think. No, it, it locks cards. Uh, in 
10 seam dragon, white martyr jacked. Halfway through the box. Battle Sister Praline. And we got our VR of Dragonic Blade Master Sewin, which is cool because I, I think of all the VRs, I wanted this one the most. Because uh, I'm a fan of Dragonic Blade Master more than I am of, uh, of Dragonic Overlord, to be honest. But that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a fan of. I, I think. Uh, uh, Memorial Angio is one of my favorite G era characters, so. Die arm. Yeah, Memorial Angio is like one of my favorites just because of his like love for the game and his love of sharing the game and how much hard work he puts into getting people into it. Uh, Dragon Knight Ishak and Dragon Knight Jeanette. Which is pretty cool. I think this looks really good. Uh, pretty good art style to it. It's a pretty uh, heavy Kagro box. Yep. Die Jack her and Blink Messiah. Just <laughs> back to back. Uh, Sentinel cards. Pretty cool. I have three of them in this box so far. Still no SP pack, but you know, that's how it is. Uh, intense Aim Dragon. And we got our second VR, Supreme Heavenly Battle Deity Susanu, which is cool. I really like him. One of my, probably my only favorite. Uh, Oracle Think Tank uh, boss unit. Honest Adore Dragon. <laughs> Alright, last pack. I think I have all the hollows, but we'll look anyway. Another vision token. Hired Deleter Far One and Goddess of Abundance Crops Togus Sahime. Togo Sahime. I think that's how you say it. So that's pretty cool. She's a draw card, so I think that's even better. But yeah, that's uh, that's this box opening. But I have something a little special here. Um, so I went on this website for triple sleeve and what they do is they pretty much split the clans and then send you all the cards of that particular clan so if you are a fan of of like just one clan and you don't want to buy the boxes if you do the math it's it's a better financial investment like say you only wanted uh you only wanted Link Joker stuff. You can just say, go to their website and buy it. And no, I'm not sponsored by them, but I think this is just a better financial way. Because if you think about it, this is less, buying one clan is less than buying four boxes. And you're not even guaranteed, like, the boxes you, or the clan, the like, the cards you want out of those boxes. So, I think... It's a really good deal. I mean, it's possible that you get less cards from it, but I think it's I think it's a good idea, especially for somebody who's in the competitive scene. For example, like if you're straight up like I don't know, Kagro fan or a Kagro user, just you know, you can. God damn! Sorry about the noise. There's just a lot of tape on these. Boy, that hurt my ears. Probably it does too, for you. So, what this, uh, so what 
doing the website would do is like ordering from that website pretty much gives you all the cards from that particular clan and the prices vary depending on how valuable the cards will be but it's still much cheaper than you would expect so this bundle is only is a play set of only Oracle Think Tanks cards so it's pretty cool I mean I don't they don't include SPs and all that I think they sell those separately but you get copies of four copies of every uh, Oracle Think Tank card so you know you saw the every hollow and every rare and every common you get four copies of each which is a pretty good deal I think see you get four of triggers so it's pretty much uh, you just sort your cards and you pretty much get the deck you know what I mean and I guess you only get one uh, starter which makes sense because you don't need more than one starter unless you're making like I guess three more decks but yeah see you get uh, this would make my uh, my, my, my collection can consist of like four Susanos, which is okay. I mean, I mean, I got the grade, I got an additional grade one searcher, so so that's pretty much that's pretty cool. And this one I put in an order for Link Joker because uh, I wanted to make the Alter Ego Messiah deck. Well, a Messiah deck in general, so. So here's, oh my god, I'm just going to have to cut the top off just to get this over with. So, yeah, so here we are with all, every single, like four copies of every uh, Link Joker, so the Alter Ego Messiah, uh, the Genesis Machine deities, uh, the fencer, lady fencers, lady battlers of the white dwarf, uh, counter strike, uh, the deleter, which you know I can make I can make a deleter deck now, I guess. Blink Messiah. So you pretty much get, yeah. Look at that, just four copies of everything, which is cool. I mean, it's much cheaper to do it this way. So I kind of recommend it. I'm not sponsored by them. That'd be cool though. But yeah, I'm going to do the same thing for the next set, which is Butterfly to Moonlight. I pretty much have that ordered. But I'll still open a box here and then open that packaging like I'm doing in this video. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. That, this is just a little uh, special additional bonus kind of thing. I mean, I'm still going to open boxes just like this. Just probably one or two. Because buying... I remember uh, Dragon's Vanity drained me of a lot of finances. And I think... Uh, and the one before that kind of did as well, I think. But... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's better than because if you buy a box for forty-five each, this is still this way is still cheaper. The only downside is is if you ask for one particular clan, uh, it may double because you're getting because because of, of the ratio. Like, there's more uh, Kagero in this particular set than there are in like the previous set which is the extra stage where it only had one even amount of cards and even amount of vanguard rare so uh, I so you know it's a good uh, option for buying so uh, yeah check them out I'm not sponsored by them I have to keep reminding myself of that but this is just I'm just helping I'm just giving you advice on uh, making decks pretty much the more financial way of doing it so uh yeah that'll be it for this video um probably moonlight will be next butterfly to moonlight i can't wait for the uh the shadow paladin one 
with the Tachikaze Megan Colony because I'm trying to get the Shadow Power Down bundle, but man, they're they're out, so I have to when they get on get to the the more orders, I'm gonna have to like snipe it away. So uh, yeah, but anyway, I've been rambling on for too long. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.